sustainability is really a key topic. And the question is, what kind of strategy should you follow as an organization, but also are the tools available to measure the right metrics? And also what's the role of cloud in this? I have a thought leader in this domain with me, and I'm really pleased to have you again. It's good to see you again, Chris Wellis, and he's the global director from sustain for sustainability at AWS. Chris, welcome. Good to see you again, Ronald. Yeah, it's uh, good to have you here at Mobile World Congress. It's uh, good to be back at Mobile World Congress. If we look to sustainability, you're an expert in this field. Can you explain what organizations can do and follow as a strategy to become more sustainable and probably also from a business perspective to earn money with it? Sure. Well, first of all, what's so interesting to me is as we look around, I mean, this field has really emerged and evolved over the last 12 to 24 months. Mm -hmm. You see ESG and sustainability embedded in almost every organization's booth on the floor that we see across all of Mobile World Congress. So it's top of mind for lots of enterprises, whether you're an SMB, large enterprise, or even a government. They're thinking about it, right? And so as a customer obsessed organization, AWS is constantly trying to respond to the needs of our customers and then look around corners for what's next. Mm -hmm. Sustainability is top of mind. They want to understand what their footprint looks like. Uh, they want to also understand what their footprint might look like if they haven't yet migrated to the cloud and they have a cloud first strategy. Do you help and do you support clients in this? Sure, and well, they're both related, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's the carbon footprint of their cloud, mm -hmm. right? There are some benefits that you mentioned, Ronald, of, yeah. of migrating to the cloud. Efficiency benefits, benefits to economy to scale, uh, and also just the benefits around innovation mm -hmm. and the ability to move fast for our customers. And what we're increasingly hearing from them is they're also concerned about not only development cycles and innovation cycles, uh, and cost, of course, mm -hmm. but sustainability is top of mind. So one of the benefits to moving to cloud is that it's, depending on where you are in the world, anywhere between 3.6, if you're talking about the US, to five times more energy efficient in here in Europe or in uh, the Asia Pacific region, which translates to roughly an 80% reduction in carbon yes. from a typical on-prem environment. Fantastic. I think it's very important to monitor it because measuring then you know how to monitor and how to um, take action on top of this. How can clients do this? Customers want to understand what their carbon footprint looks like through their entire supply chain. Mm -hmm. Increasingly, cloud and IT assets are becoming a bigger part of an organization's footprint. What we're excited about at Mobile World Congress is that Adam yesterday launched the general availability of the AWS Customer Carbon Footprint Tool, mm -hmm. which allows any AWS customer to understand what the carbon associated with their AWS cloud usage looks like for their own organization. The Carbon Footprint Tool, I think a great example, AWS is really customer obsessed. What's next? Well, absolutely. So our customers first, as you mentioned, they want to understand what is the impact of cloud mm -hmm. from a carbon perspective. We know there are benefits mm -hmm. to moving to the cloud. Benefits go obviously beyond sustainability and are innovation related. So customers want to understand now that they have their data, what are the building blocks that they have to help them drive through digital transformation to sustainable transformation? And that's what I think we're able to really sit down with them and work through and help them to drive that strategy. Yeah, and I think it's great to see these developments accelerate in the market that companies put sustainability really on top of their mind and on top of their actions and that you facilitate this. Chris, thanks a lot for giving all your insights and updates and for the audience. Thank you for watching and we're looking forward to seeing you next time.